Is it permissible to read books of other religions? I've come across a hadith when Umar radiallahu anhu was reciting the Torah and the Prophet peace be upon him was angry. My name is Altaf and I'm from Pakistan. There is a hadith of our beloved Prophet Muhammad may peace and blessings be upon him wherein Umar radiallahu anhu he was reciting certain manuscript of a part of some other religion and when he came to our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him with these manuscripts of some other religion our beloved prophet muhammad may peace and blessings be upon him he was upset so why was our beloved prophet muhammad peace be upon him upset because a person should not use the scriptures of the other religions as a source of guidance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran surah Ali Imran chapter number 3 verse number 64 Qul ya ahlal kitab say O people of the book ta'alaw ila kalimatin sawa'in bainana wa bainakum come to common terms as between us and you which the first term Allah na'bud illa Allah that we worship none but one almighty God this verse of the glorious Quran according to me it is the master key for doing dawah it shows us how to talk to different types of people people of different religions and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse he's telling us to come to common terms with the people of the book and how we will talk about the commonalities if we do not quote from their religious scriptures so that's the reason when we when an individual is quoting from the scriptures of the other religions it should be for the purpose of dawah we should not use the scriptures of the other religions as a source of guidance the only source of guidance for us Muslims, it is the glorious Quran and the authentic teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. So we should not use the scriptures as the source of guidance. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Propagate even if you know one verse. And there is no harm in quoting from the people, from the scriptures of the people of the book. From this hadith, we understand that Abloud Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that there is no harm when we quote from the scriptures of the people of the book. So if a person is a student of knowledge and he's involved in dawah and he's talking to people of different faiths, faiths for example, the Christians, the Hindus, etc. So he needs to quote their scriptures when he's talking about the commonalities. And I've given a talk on concept of God in major world religions where I've mentioned regarding Tawheed wherein it is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures, in the Christian scriptures that we need to worship only one God. It is mentioned in the Bible that we need to worship only one God and we need to worship Him alone. But for a lay man who is not well versed with Islam and comparative religion, the best for him is that he refers to the people who are, an ex, who are experts in the field of Islam and comparative religion. For example, as far as Islam and Christianity is concerned, Sheikh Ahmad Didat, he is an expert. He took the entire Christian dub sing, dumb single-handedly, the entire Christian community, and he dialogued with them, he debated with them. So you can refer to the material of Sheikh Ahmad Didat as far as Islam and Christianity is concerned. Rather than you, rather than an individual reading the Bible and he wasting his time. Today, Alhamdulillah, the material is available. And Alhamdulillah, on the al hidayah platform, we have the international dawah training program. Let's become effective dais. And an immense material is available that is related to dawah, that is related to the techniques of conveying the message of Islam, and that is also related to Islam and comparative religion. The verses from the Bible, as far as Tawheed is concerned, the verses from the Hindu scriptures as far as oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is concerned and when we talk to the Christian to the Hindus quoting from their religious scriptures they are impressed and inshallah it will draw them closer towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the scriptures of the major world religions they talk about Tawheed that is oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we should see to it that when we are quoting from the scriptures of the major world religions we do not use this as a source of guidance for us Muslims the ultimate it is the glorious Quran but many of the non-Muslims, the Christians, the Hindus, they do not believe the Quran to be the word of God. Therefore, we need to quote from their 
religious scriptures but we should not use their religious scriptures as a source of guidance the only source of guidance for us muslims it is the glorious quran and the authentic teachings of our beloved prophet muhammad may peace and blessings be upon him